an arrow for your bow? <laughs> yes, an arrow for my bow. <laughs> you have, my you have, mul- like you have multiple bows, but only one yeah. arrow. Special <laughs> <laughs> arrow. All right, my arrow is ready. All right, okay. I, I guess I'll I'll be shooting as well, so I better get ready. I should try to like be more on the side, though. I think with my bonuses and stuff. But meh. I guess I'll stand in front. I'm gonna ask the party right. if you guys are ready yet, because I'm getting bored. Because I, I have a bonus if I shoot from behind, but I don't think there's a way to be behind them yet. So yeah, probably no. They're back to the cool. door. So unless yeah, so I'll, I'll just be ready to shoot like Ryan. I mean Gregor. Yes. Okay. Gregor. Do so you guys both want to shoot the goblins that are standing there? Yes. Uh, yeah. The we'll aim for the one on the right. Okay, um, you guys go, JP. They're rolling d20s to hit, and okay. I think... So should I roll two of them or one separate, well, like one and one? We'll do one at a time. Okay, so... Uh, Jen gets a plus three to her attack, and Ryan gets a plus two to his attack. Okay, first roll is going to be Jen. It is a six. So Jen, you miss the goblin very badly. Ryan's roll is a 20, of course. <laughs> <laughs> oh Ryan. Yeah. Uh, a natural 20 you. or a 17 or 18 plus 2 he rolled a straight up 20 out of 20 headshot okay. yeah that's uh, a headshot man that... yeah <laughs> you strike the goblin uh, JP roll 2d6 for damage 2d6 he rolled a 3 a total of 3 yes Oh, your I'm head sorry, thought no no no, no. I, that was a modifier Okay, he rolled a nine. Sorry. Okay, all right. Your your headshot is a headshot, and it goes right through his eye, and the the goblin slumps to the ground. <laughs> oh, yeah. Excellent. Breaking Ryan. Yeah. Ryan's um, the easy button. All right, I'm I'm just gonna say good shot. Stand up, draw my uh, mallet, and start walking towards the other goblin. But not, I'm not yeah. I'm not running fast. I'm just walking towards it. Okay. Um. Jeff. Same thing, only obviously way cooler with a sword. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, okay, so you two start walking slowly towards the goblin, who, seeing his friend fall to the ground dead, freaks out and starts screaming and pounding on the door. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to motion back to Ryan. Can you take care of this so he doesn't get any more? Or should I, I actually uh, start I running? I launch another arrow at the goblin. Okay. Jen? Uh... I guess I'll do the same if Brian's shot misses. Okay. Uh, JP, would you take the rolls? Uh, yeah, so what do I roll D20. again? 1 D20. Uh, D20 plus 2 to hit for Ryan, and D20 plus 3 for Jen. Okay, uh, so Ryan rolls a 15, so 17. That's a hit. 1 D6 for damage. Freaking Ryan. He rolls a 6. <laughs> That is quite good. The goblin uh, takes a shot through the chest and falls to the door. Falls to the ground in front of the door. <clears throat> All right. I say good job. Uh, walk over to the two goblins, search the bodies. Do we find anything? Uh, each of them is carrying a short spear, uh, like a goblin-sized spear, and they've got some leather armor on. But other than that, they don't really have anything. Okay. Does anyone want the, uh, the spears or the, the <clears throat> armor? Is it worth this to anyone? Should we try to sell it? It smells like goblin. No one's going to buy that shit. Okay. Then I'm... Uh, well, how big is this door? Can I fit through this door? Yeah. Yeah, the door is only five and a half feet tall. So you... Everyone's going to have a hard... Goblins are short. Goblins are sure, like four, sure. four and a half feet tall. So you're going to have a hard time in there. All right. I'm, I'm ahead of the rest of the party. It's me and Jeff at the front, right? Right. All right. I'm going to motion to Jeff that I'm about to kick the door down. Because I want to get our money and get this mission over with and get back to the bar. And I'm going to ask Jeff if he wants to go in before me. Um, yeah. Did, the, did the goblin knock on the door? Yeah, he pounded on the door. Can, yeah. I, can I do a perception check and listen to the door before they kick it open and see if I hear anything? Are you asking us this? Or are you just trying to do it? I, I say to, to JP, who's about to smash open the door. So mid leg up in the air, about to kick in the door. I look back at Ryan, put my foot down, and say, go ahead. 
Yes. Okay, okay. so I, I do a perception check, and I try to hear, hear if anything's on the other side. You hear a scrambling of goblin feet flapping on the ground, and you know lots of, lots of commotion, but you can't quite tell what it is. Ryan, do you hear anything? Yeah, it sounds like there's a ton of goblins in there. Sounds good. I'm going to put my leg back up in the air and kick the door down. <laughs> okay. Um, you fail. I you, like, miss the door or something. Well, yeah. You, you actually really missed the barn. Yeah. You just, like, you hit the side of the wall of the, the hill, and the door opens towards you, and a bunch of goblins start pouring out. I'm just going to put my head down in shame for a second and, and let the goblins pass by me. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Um, How many do we see? Well, you can't see all the way down the tunnel because you're far too tall. But you see four, at least four are pouring out right now. Okay, okay. we're going to enter combat now. Um, sure. Would you guys roll a d10 for initiative to see whether you guys go first or second? Oh, uh, there's no way for us to, like, just no, run into the No, I just the opened thing. the door or tried to. Yeah, I, I know, mean, he tried to open the out. door. Missed. They open the door and start coming out, and we're gonna enter combat to see who goes first. Whether all right. So one drop on them. One d ten. No modifier. We roll a no nine. You, okay. They go first. Really? Jesus. Um. Yeah. They go first. So uh, the the three goblins that got out first kind of are in front of you, JP, and to the side of Jeff, and okay. they take some swings at you guys. Sure. Um. Mm -hmm. JP. Oh yeah, they totally miss you. Um, you're Perfect. wearing what is it? Chain, Chain mail. mail. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Their spears kind of come off the side, okay. and Jeff, one of them actually stabs you. Surprisingly, <laughs> you, know, okay. you just didn't have. You weren't expecting it. The goblin popped out of nowhere, and he just gets a stab at you, and you take two damage. You are at eight. No big deal. All right. Is that their Stop attack that. round? Yeah, that's our attack round. Your guys' turn. All right. I'm going to laugh at the fact that Jeff got stabbed. <laughs> kind of like just motion towards him and just start laughing. And then pull out my hammer and take uh, a huge sideways, sideways swing to see how many I can hit. Okay. Ryan, what are you doing? Um, I will take a, a shot with my bow at the one closest to Jeff. Vincent. Um, Longborn. Yeah, it's Vincent Longborn. You have to say it I every mean, time. Standing <laughs> right next to them, you'd have to like back up a bit because otherwise you're. I mean, you were listening at the door a moment ago, and now. Oh, it's okay. in your, you know, Can I? Okay. Uh, can I take a few steps back and shoot, or do I have to? Does that take two turns? Uh, fine. You can back up and shoot. I just want to make sure that you understand you have to be clear of combat. Okay. All right. Yeah. So I back up from the door and I, I take a shot at the one closest to Vincent Longborn. Jen? Um, is there a way for me now to stand like b semi behind them or is there no way? No. The, they got out of the door before you could get behind them. Alright, then I guess I'll just take a shot from afar because I'm scared and not tall and stuff. <laughs> and Jeff, you are? Uh, same thing. I'll take a swipe at whatever one's nearest me. So, uh, D20 for everyone. Alright. And Jeff, <laughs> plus two to hit and a plus three damage. And JP, you get no attack bonus whatsoever. All right, so I'm just going to roll 1d20. Okay, someone rolled a zero. I guess since I was the first to attack, I roll a zero. <laughs> a zero? You can't roll a zero. Uh, well, what, what's my attack modifier? What's the modifier? You get a, a 1d20 plus nothing. Yeah, so I... I rolled a d20 plus zero, total equals zero. Oh, oh, never mind, never mind, I'm an idiot, I'm an idiot. Okay, I roll a eight. An eight, okay. There we go. You miss. Okay. An ice uh, cream, you're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I, I motion back to the elf and just shake my head. And then it's Ryan's turn now. He, it's his turn? Ryan's turn. Okay, mm -hmm. Ryan rolls. Is it Ryan turn? <laughs> <laughs> Ryan rolls a 15, of course. Uh, Without the modifier, whatever. I don't know what his modifier is off the top of my head. He gets modifiers plus two. That's a hit. Uh, roll d6 for damage. <laughs> okay. He rolls a Somebody's four. Somebody's going to do the damage. Four. 
Which is enough to put down another measly goblin yeah, who falls to the ground. Okay. Uh, Ooh, Jen? Rolling for Jen. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot. She rolls a 10, whatever her modifier is, add that to it. Plus 3, uh, which 13, that's a hit on a goblin as well. Okay. Another d6 for damage. It rolls another 4. Uh, it puts down a second goblin. There's only one outside still. Jeff? Yay! Okay, Jeff. Same geez. thing, I take a swipe. He rolls an 8 out of a eight 20. and no. Jeff misses the goblin. I, I, completely. I question Jeff, like, what the fuck is going on? How are we missing <laughs> so much? And these two fucking elves are taking everything. I wish I knew. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Goblin's turn again. Um, the one goblin pushes forward, uh, and a few more file out from behind him. So now there are four more out on the field again. Um, first total? goblin in front. Takes a, sw uh, a stab at Jeff again, but misses. And two of the new guys try and poke at JP, but, you know, your towering mass and your <laughs> fierce face just kind of scare the shit out of them. They don't, they don't really get close enough to kind of, you know, faint it at it and then back away. Um, and the last goblin doesn't have enough time out of getting out of the door to attack. All right. Uh, so Heart since... Turning. Since, since, of st yeah, since it is the start, um, how many goblins are there? There's three or four? There's four. Yeah. I, I'm no going to back off uh, from the, air, the main area, and as I'm walking, I'm just going to sip the, the wine that I poured earlier and just back off the front. That way I can get, a, get away from the front lines. Okay. You start backing away from the front lines, okay. Ryan. More archery time. Uh, yes, more archery time. Jen? Sure. Jeff? I take another swipe. <laughs> take another swipe, okay. All right. JP, rolls for your party. So, first d20 is going to go for Ryan. He rolls a six, whatever his modifier is. Six is a mid. Oh, I think I might have hit. just lost I it. Just... Oh, so is it a hit, a hit or miss? You're no, that's plug. a miss. Okay. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, yeah, you're good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so second d twenty rolls a ten. That was Jin's. Uh, ten plus three, thirteen is a hit. So one d six rolls a four. A four, which does not kill one of the goblins. No. All right, and Jeff's roll is a fifteen. Ooh, that's a hit. Um, Jeff does d eight with his damage. He rolls a two. Two. He has. Jeff, Jeff is specialized in longsword, and he's got high strength, so he gets plus three to damage. So that is five, which is not enough to put down a second goblin. So now you have two wounded and two very healthy goblins. Okay. All right, so I guess that's our round. Yeah. Um, next round, you see that there are no more coming out from the cave, but uh, it's just these four, and... They all surround Jeff, so... Ooh, where'd the rest of my decks go? Um, yeah, you got two in front of you, one to your side, and one behind you. You're completely surrounded because JP abandoned you <laughs> yeah. on the field. Mm-hmm. 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 I'm, I'm... As this How is happening... How do you feel, Jeff? <laughs> as I see Jeff surrounded, I'm laughing. I'm laughing from afar. Laughing from afar. I think JP is going to play this game very short. <laughs> <laughs> he just gets killed in like day three, and we're like, all right. Maybe he dies though. of alcohol poisoning. Dies of alcohol yeah. poisoning. Well, um, I mean, I am drunk, so I'd find that funny. Anyways, Neil, go the, ahead. The goblin standing behind Jeff stabs him viciously in the back. Holy shit. For another right. two damage. You're down to six now. All right. Better um, it. So it's my. Up. Oh, go ahead, Ryan. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. All right, I am going to go. Um, I pull out my long sword. And mm -hmm. I, I take a swipe at the one that Jin injured. Abigail injured. Okay. Jen, what are you doing? Um. Now, is there a way for me to get behind the meanies? <laughs> well, one's probably facing. Its back is probably to you. Yeah, because he's Jeff. looking at Yeah, one of them has his back right? to you. Yeah. All right, I'm going to stab him in the back with my little thing that stabs. Your sword? Uh, don't I have like a super dagger? Or is the sword yeah, better? You've got a dagger, but a sword is usually better. Alright, I'll use a sword. 
Uh, so I'm gonna ask I'm gonna ask Jeff if he uh, if he would like a heal or if I can continue to drink this. I, I asked Jeff if he's okay, basically. I say no. Get in here and help. I'm gonna kind of sigh, and then I'm just gonna like twirl my hands like this in the air and and heal Jeff up. Okay, you're gonna heal Jeff. Does yeah. he actually twirl his hands? I go I go like this. Like I'm really bored about it. You have to uh, be close oh. enough to touch him. Oh, actually. I gotta touch him. It's a touch heal, yeah. Okay, I'll I'll stand up and start walking <laughs> towards him. And touching well, him awkwardly. Like goblins right now. Oh, so I can't touch him. Well, I'm not saying you can't touch him, but you know, if you're gonna like walk up to him while he's being surrounded by goblins, you're kind of exposing yourself to attack. That's fine. That's actually fine. Okay. So I'm walking up and I'm gonna touch Jeff and heal him. That's what I'm doing. Okay. I see it. That's kind of creepy, man. What? What? Did I have to touch him to heal him? Like, fuck you! What the hell? How else am I, I gonna mean... heal him? <laughs> I think it's, is it Jeff's turn? Is it Jeff's turn? Uh, or... Jeff, what are you gonna do? Uh, I'm taking another swipe at a. I mean, I'm surrounded here, so. Right. So you're gonna attack. Ryan's gonna attack with his sword. Jen's gonna attack with her sword, and JP is gonna heal Jeff. Yes. Okay. Uh, we'll start with the heal. Um, roll d8 and add one to that to see how much you heal him. So I rolled a five or a four plus one five. Okay, Jeff, you're back at full life. Sweet. Uh, Ryan, d20 to hit. Oh, that's my turn, right? Uh, <laughs> yeah. He rolls a 12. 12. Uh, yes, that's a hit. You elves get plus one to longsword, so you hit him uh, d8 for damage. He rolls a three. Three. You were attacking the one that Jen had already hurt, right? Right. Yeah, that one falls to the ground. Dead. Okay. Jen, you sneak up behind the one that's behind Jeff. So we're kind of forming like a Congo line here. And you try and stab <laughs> him in the back. Yeah. Uh, D20 to hit. Plus two for back attack. <laughs> plus one for Elvin using a short sword. So even with all the modifiers, you roll a five. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking suck. Does she stab uh, Jeff? So bad, you stab yourself. Uh, no, if she rolled a natural one, she might have, but no. She rolled a um, two without modifier. Yeah. No, she just. She's really bad, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Do we, do we notice this happening? <laughs> yeah, you hear Jeff give or Jen give a bit of a cry as she like stabs at a, a goblin with her eyes closed, and it kind of. She's off by like 10 degrees and kind of like stabbing up midair and opens her eyes like, oh, whoops, hold on. That's totally me. I, yeah. I'm just going to, I'm just going to like look at her and just give like a blank stare as this is happening. I'll say, oh, shut up. You do something. I, I just healed Jeff. What are you, are we about to have this conversation in the middle of the fight? Yes. <laughs> this is happening. <laughs> Well, if, I can't no, I do don't. anything this round, so if you say it's that, fine, we'll have fine. to wait till the next round. Yeah. All right, Jeff's uh, turn. Yeah, d20 for Jeff. He rolls a 10 without modifier. Um, no, that's not enough. Okay. Sorry. You miss. So the, the goblin that is closest to the door shouts out something, and he starts falling back, uh, keeping his wall still facing you, but falling back towards the door. None and of us... The other None of us understand what it, what was said. Is no, it... none of you speak goblin. Okay. Um, and okay. the other ones kind of like circle strafe around Jeff and start backing up towards the door. All right. I am immediately if I notice this, I'm immediately just going to put myself in between the door and the goblin so they can't retreat. Can okay. I do that. Uh, what you can put one of them is going to definitely get there before you, but you can get yourself between him and the other ones. Okay. That's he what like I slide do. tackles them. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't move. I don't move that quick. So I, I just I put myself between the uh, the goblins that I can, and they are not able to get back in. Okay. So are you facing towards the door, or do you have your back towards the door? I have my back towards the door, with my face looking towards the goblins that are trying to run in. Okay. All right. The the goblin who you put your back towards, because he's already at the door, stabs at you. Okay. Mm. But misses pretty badly, or it you know gets caught in your chainmail and doesn't hurt you at all. I give a hearty laugh, and then I wait. <laughs> <laughs> and 
And um, I say, I motion to the rest of the party, take care of these, these retards. And that's what I do. Someone else go. All right, I take a swing at uh, one of the two that are in between JP and the door. Is there still a okay. wounded one out? Or? There's one wounded one out. All right, I'll, I'll attack the wounded. And now I'm going to attack the full health one. The full health one? Yeah, leave me yeah. the wounded. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And Jeff, you haven't gone yet either. I'm at full health now, right? Full health. Um, well, again, I think I just take another swipe because I'm surrounded. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, they're, you're no longer surrounded. They've backed away from you. I still want to cut them to pieces. Yeah. <laughs> That's noble. I'm All pretty right. upset. So roll some d20s here. Ryan first, yeah. yeah? Okay. Yeah. Ryan rolls a nine, no modifier. So whatever his modifier is. That's a miss. All right. Next roll is a straight up 20. That's Jin. <laughs> that is a critical yeah. hit. Yeah. So what do I do for a crit hit? Is it 2d6? Uh, just double damage. Oh, okay. Uh, so she rolls a six out of six. <laughs> six out of six. Um, you're, that's at the wounded one, who was, ar who was already at one life. You, you know, slash off his arm, h hack halfway into his body, and he crumbles to the ground. Okay. And I do, wah ha 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right. I laugh at the laugh. And then uh, <laughs> Jeff's turn, he rolls a 13, no modifier, whatever that is. So 16? Yeah. And that's still a D6, not a D8? Uh, no, it's a D8 for okay. Jeff. <laughs> he rolls a 1. Without a modifier. one. <laughs> okay. Uh, it does not kill the. Wait, Ryan, did you attack? Did you hit Ryan? No, I missed. Okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, yeah, you hit uh, for four damage, but he's not dead. All right. But so at there's least one I goblin hit him. on the outside, one goblin on the inside who's stabbing viciously at JP's back, um, <laughs> and it's their turn again. So the one behind JP takes another stab at him. Ooh. And hits him for two damage. They keep rolling twos, um, and the one in front drops down, uh, drops his spear, throws his hands up in the air, and starts going. Rah, 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 rah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Since he's doing that, I'm gonna just tell the rest of the party to take care of this guy. Can I turn around, uh, or am I hurt that badly that I can't do that? You can turn around. But that's all I could do. No, you can turn around and hit him with your maul. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn around, and instead of hitting him with my maul, I'm going to grab him by his neck and, and hoist Good. him up We're into the air. Right now. Okay. What do I need um, to roll for that, or do you have the check? Uh, you roll a d20, and you are not... I mean, he manages to get a stab in on you while you reach for him, okay. and he hits you. So as you reach for his neck, he stabs your hand with his spear for three. Uh, so three and two is five. So I'm at one HP? No, you're at three HP. Three you're HP. Eight total. Yeah. Okay. So that, that's my round. So I'm holding this goblin up by his neck in front of him facing inside. Yeah. Uh, well, All right. <clears throat> what's your strength? You only have 12 strength, you know. For a giant eight-foot guy, you're not actually all that strong. <laughs> <laughs> so how many rounds can, can I hold him to the... This is, this is starting to get pretty close to real life, actually. <laughs> yeah. So, you're like this. yeah. So you grab him, and I'm not, I don't think you can pick him up one-handed, but you can, like, you know, pin him against the side of the wall or the something. Okay. All right. Yeah. That sounds good to me. Okay. So you grab him by the throat and shove him against the wall. Yes. Okay. Uh, everyone else's turn. I actually frisk JP for his alcohol, and I take all of it. <laughs> and then I begin to force feed the thing that he has held up all of the alcohol. I'm, I'm screaming. I'm, Jeff, what, what the, Jeff, what the fuck? What the fuck yeah. are you fucking doing? Totally okay. just happened that way. Ryan and Jen, just... what are you guys doing? Um... I I attack the goblin that gave up. You attack the the surrendering goblin. Yes. Okay, Jen. Um. I there's nothing much to do. I mean, I guess I'll attack the surrendering goblin. But why is it surrendered? It because it's locked outside with a 
eight foot person, two elves, a uh, very well armed warrior. Yeah, and we can't talk to him, right? No one speaks goblin. I guess we'll kill him. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Do you need attack rolls for uh, Ryan and Jen? All right. Uh, first is a two with no modifier, so I guess that's Ryan's. Oh, my God. Yeah, Ryan, you you hack miserably at him. It's, it's bad. Second <laughs> roll. Oh, my God. Second roll is another two, so the, I guess mm. this goblin's still alive. <laughs> but, but still surrendering. You your hand, and you don't quite kill him. Uh Jeff, you know exactly where JP keeps all of his alcohol, yeah. <laughs> and you find it no problem. You just, oh, here's one flask, here's a wineskin, and the goblin that he's got pinned still has a spear in his hands. So you just like walk up to him and start force-feeding it to him? Well, I mean, it's assumed that like I'm holding his one hand, you know, like disarming him. Okay, so you try and hold one hand and... Because right, I'm assuming stop. he's being choked on some level, so it's not. I don't necessarily think he can start actually making strong jabs with the spear. He's probably just flailing not around. Not strong jabs, but like wild flails. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I'm holding that hand with one hand, and then I'm just force-feeding okay. all the wine down his face with the other one. Right. He flails wildly with a spear, but doesn't manage to hit anything. And you, you know, uncork a wineskin and shove it down his throat and start squeezing. Uh... You know, and wine starts pouring out of his mouth, and he's clearly swallowing more of it than he wants to. Sweet. Uh, Continue. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm just like, what the fuck, Vincent? What what the fuck, man? Do you do you force feed him the entire wine skin? Which yeah, is all of it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, what the fuck, Vincent? <laughs> Ryan and Jen, I, you guys still hack at the surrendered goblin? Why don't you just let him leave? <laughs> no, you, you took a shot at him. You should probably just kill him. <laughs> okay, let's kill him. I'll go at it again. JP, what are you going to do? I'm going to... So, is Jeff, like, pinning me in now that he's trying to, to I guess, waterboard this goblin or whatever he's doing with the with the wine? Or well, can, can I... Of it is you've got the goblin at arm's length choking him, and Jeff kind of, like, walks in between the two of you since you've got such a great reach, you know? He just kind of, like, stands in front of you and... Starts feeding him. All right, I'm I'm just gonna drop the goblin and walk away from the door uh, by myself, so where they can't see what's going on. Like, like that weird. That yeah, with, with my back towards the rest of the party, away from the fight. So just like disengage from the fight and walk off. Because he wants okay. to touch himself. Is he crying too? at this point too, or is he just kind of like? <laughs> no, I'm not crying. I I I. Before I do it, I just look at Jeff, let the goblin go, then just walk off, and that's all that happens. Okay. So, meanwhile, the goblin who surrendered that you guys tried to hack at, uh, you know, he stands up realizing you guys aren't going to let him live, and turns and runs. This is the drunk one? N uh, this no, this is, is the sober one. <laughs> oh, the sober one. Okay. The sober wounded one. Uh, do, so, I see this happening, I guess, as I'm walking away? Yeah. I was going to say that someone should take care of that. Yeah, I fire an arrow at the fleeing goblin. Okay. Um, so, all right, so you're going to fire an arrow at the fleeing goblin. Jeff, the goblin that you are holding and forcing, uh, force right. feeding. We'll call it waterboarding. It yeah. can now breathe for the first time. Well, okay, waterboarding. Um, <laughs> it's freed from the grip of the half ogre. So he takes his spear and stabs it at your belly. And it hits you brutally for four damage. Do I see that happen or hear that happen? No, your back is to him. Okay. You made it very clear that your back is to him. Okay. Um, but meanwhile, so roll a uh, hit for Ryan. Roll d20. He rolls another two. Oh Ryan, you suck. <laughs> I think JP's cheating now. He's just like. <laughs> it's on the screen. You can oh, see. Oh, yeah. Another, another, oh, another two. Another huh? two. Yeah. <laughs> That's so weird. <laughs> All right. And then. Uh, Jen, does she need an attack roll? I don't know, Jen. All right, what you I guess I'll shoot at this stupid goblin. Which one? The fleeing one, because I don't want him to get away, I guess. Because he could alert other goblins, right? It's not like... Mm -hmm. All right, let's try to kill it. D20? All right, she rolls a nine with no modifier. Uh, you get plus three to hit. That brings it to 12. You're hitting his back. That's another two. You hit. All right. He was wounded, he right? Damage. Yeah. So the d6 roll is a 1. Not enough to kill him. 
You hit oh, him in the calf it. and he keeps running. We'll never get that dude. I mean, you still can shoot at him for another round or two before he's okay, out of... Okay, okay. Let's finish it, Ryan. I oh, mean, hold on. Gregor. Let's circle back to, to Vincent Longborn yeah, it's here. Vi it's Vincent's role now. Um, you've just been stabbed in the belly by the goblin that you're waterboarding with alcohol. Yep. What do you do? I actually break the spear that is in my belly at the <laughs> shaft. Because my strength's high enough. I got a good enough strength. Yeah. And I yeah. take the splintered shaft and I start gouging in his face. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. So you stop with the wine, drop it, snap the spear, rip it out of his hands, turn around, and stab him in the face with the broken end of the spear. Yes. Okay. Just wanted to be clear. Um, you successfully do that. Uh, mm -hmm. JP, roll, I don't know, D2 for damage. Uh, okay. I went prison on this bitch, man. This is like full on. I think this, I, I think this works. LA prison stuff going on now. So, yeah, he rolls a 2. A 2. Okay. Let's add um, like a 10 modifier, though, because I'm being so badass. And... <laughs> <laughs> In times yeah, of you coolness. Get a, you get a plus 1 for your massive strength. Um, so three damage total, and you stab the goblin in the face to death with a broken spear. I love this scene. <laughs> I'm very, I'm very pleased with this. The guy stabs me in the stomach. I break the spear in half and start shanking his face with it until he dies. If anyone watching this could could draw a cartoon of that and then tweet at me, that'd be great. <laughs> Just so I can remember that forever. All right. So, so that one's still running again away. Since the the goblin. Yeah, Ryan and Jen, your goblin has taken off. Um, you've got two rounds left before he's out of out of sight. Yeah. All right, I'll fire again. Okay. Yeah, I'll D fire two. Two d20s. Mm-hmm. First one is a six, so that's Ryan's. Miss. Noma. Second Jesus. one is a three. You guys. God damn. You are the worst <laughs> archers of all time. Oh my God. Jen, you guys have you taken like ten six. shots at him and hit him once or something like that. Like, <laughs> all right. Yeah. All right, so I think JP's round. just really bad at rolling dice. Do you think it's the body weight of of um, Gregor that's causing this? Like, if he was heavier, he could do better. And <laughs> Gregor, the anorexic elf. She's like, I'll take another <laughs> shot, but my arms are tired. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! <laughs> All right, so it's their attack round now. Yeah. Okay. To... So we still have what? There's still that one goblin running away, and so he's just gonna one keep... goblin running away. Um, he he runs. So attack for Jen and Ryan again. Uh, did, it, is the goblin near me? Did it run the same direction to me, or run the complete opposite direction, or do uh, I even see it run? Direction. He went to the right of. Okay. He went to the left of the door when you're looking at it. You kind of went back the way you came, which is to the right of the door when you're looking at it. Okay. All right. Uh, rolling again. One first d twenty is a twenty, straight up twenty. Yes. Ryan, you strike him in the back. It's a critical yes. hit. Yes. Yes. Dude, <laughs> For 20. one damage. <laughs> Finally, Ryan. My God. I thought you were good at this, man. I rolled 20s or 2s. That's it. Yeah, so 2d6 <laughs> for damage. That's true. Okay. <laughs> he rolls a and, 7. Actually, you know what? Ryan used... Oh. I'm sorry, Ryan. You should have been doing d8s this whole time. Oh, uh, okay. 2d8 for damage. 2d8. No, I'll take the 7. It's fine. Well, he, he rolls an 11, so... Okay, well, that's that's enough, you know. Yes. You hit him through the heart, and then the arrow like comes out the other side, turns around, hits him again or something, and he just mm. crumbles to the ground. All right. So back to me. So I'm walking away. How how far, how how long of a day's walk is it to get back to the, the city that we left? Is it going to be uh, the rest of the day? I mean, if you went back, you wouldn't get back to the town until after nightfall. Do I... Do I have the ability to see if there's any water, or do I have any water on me? Yeah, you've got. Everyone has some water on you. Okay, so I'm gonna walk over to a uh, behind a tree or somewhere where they can't see what I'm doing, and do I have to announce what I'm casting, or can I just message it to you? I think you know what I'm gonna you do. You can but... message it to me, but my program has sort of slightly crashed, and okay. I can't interact. We, I think you know what spell I'm going to cast on water. So I'm going to do I, that. I have a feeling I know. I'm going to do that, and then I'll just start walking back to the party after I do that. Okay. All right. Done. My turn? Yes. 
So, am I correct in assuming the one that tried to run away got shot in the back and is dead? Yeah. Yes. And they're all dead now, laying around. There's nobody else left? Right. Just and before. we haven't been in the hovel yet, right? Because they just poured out of it because JP couldn't kick a door properly and then... <laughs> right, right. Okay. Um, at this point, I pull the spear out of me and I drop it on the ground and then obviously immediately start sharpening my sword. <laughs> okay. Am I back Good to the to rest know. of the party yet? Yeah, you start walking back to the rest of the party. Let me actually restart my program here, so I f someone so I can get like interpersonal. Uh, yeah. Okay. Images. All right, we can we can take a quick break if you guys want. Like, a yeah, give break. me just like one or two minutes. All right, sounds good. Sounds good. All right, we'll take a quick break, and when we come back, we'll figure out what happens after this fight. So, be right back, guys.